After completion of the drawing, switch to layout one. Layout one is where you will have your title block appears. And under title block, make sure that you have completed all the information needed. In this case, what we have is the name. So you have type your name, you have to type your project number and title and date. To do that, you just double click and change the information as you require to do on the each assignment. After this one is completed, make sure that you have set the scale. As you notice your drawing scale is changed from the model space to layout or paper space. On the layout mode, you have two different environments. One is called paper space. One is called floating model space. If you notice the icon, looks like a triangle with X and Y. And the model space, your icon is just X and Y. So this is how you distinguish your paper space from model space. Now, within paper space, in order to change the scale, you need to double click inside of this viewport. Viewport is the one that shows yellow rectangle borderline here. To do that the, is the simplest way is double click inside this viewport. And that switches to floating model space. And you notice your icon changed back to XY without that triangle shape on the corner. At this time, if you notice your scale window appears and you can change your scale according to the need for that particular drawing. In this case, we check one to one and notice that one to one fits properly. If I go a little bit larger, like say, for example, to go to the two to one double size, that would be too large. So we will stay on one to one for this one. And now we make sure that the, also your drawing is centered. If it's not centered, just in the corner like that, you can always pan. You see, when you're panning, you press and hold the mouse and you pan, or you go to the pan tool uh, on the uh, sidebar and change the location by panning different location. As I zoom in and out, you notice that your scale again changes. So maintain that scale to go back again, make sure it's one to one, and right away double click outside of the borderline to change them back to the paper space. Now this drawing is ready to print. In our case, we are printing as PDF format. You go to plot and Make sure your printer is selected in this case because the electronic printer select Adobe PDF and then preview then right click and say plot. You can also select printer from here. That concludes printing the drawing. At this time we want to save, give a project number. For example, you have project number 3.1. And this is called coordinate system. So just give a name and save. So you have created the PDF file and then you can go to canvas and submit this PDF file.